Hi students, how are you? It's Pete Posner at Big Break English, your British English teacher. And today we are going to look at writing complex sentences in IELTS using who, whose, where and when. OK, if you need to get a band score of seven in IELTS writing, this is for you. OK, because for band score seven, you need to write a variety of complex sentences. OK, so we're going to look at how to do this today. And before we start, I want to tell you about my free ebook, 12 Tips for Scoring Higher on IELTS Writing Task 2. You can download this if you go to the link in the description of this video. OK, so here is a task 2. Education should be accessible to people of all economic backgrounds. All levels of education, from primary school to tertiary education, should be free. To what extent do you agree with this opinion? OK, so we're going to look at a model paragraph for this essay. And I want you to answer the following two questions. First, does the writer believe in free primary and secondary education? Why or why not? And also, as you read, think about this. Do you do you agree or not? Right. OK, so I'm going to um, read it to you and I want you to follow as I read. I believe that primary and secondary education should be free since they are fundamental rights. That is, school is a place where young people develop important life skills, like the ability to get on well with different kinds of people and negotiate when they have differences in, in opinion. A child's school years are also a time when they are socialised to develop as honest and dignified members of society, and therefore if they grow up to become marginalised individuals on the wrong side of the law, institutions where they were educated are partly responsible for this. That's why children whose parents have a low income must also access a good quality education. OK, so those questions again. Does the writer believe in free primary and secondary education? Why or why not? And do you agree? By the way, this question, do you agree? This is so that you start to generate your own ideas on this on these topics okay which is going to be important okay so pause the video um answer those questions and in two minutes we will continue okay how did you do so okay so here i highlighted more or less the main ideas. OK, so does the writer believe in free primary and secondary education? Yes. Right. I believe that primary and secondary education should be free. Since they are fundamental rights. So notice this is at the beginning of the paragraph because this is the main idea of the paragraph. OK. Why? OK, so mainly because they are human rights, sorry, they are fundamental rights, okay? Um, and then um, the writer develops that idea, principally in two parts, right? So school is a place where young people develop important life skills, okay? So that's links to this idea of the fundamental right to develop important life skills. And the other part is a child's school years are also a time when they are socialised to develop as honest and dignified members of society. OK. Now then, you probably noticed that I highlighted in bold these words where, when and whose. OK, so. What you need to start doing, if you if you haven't already started to do this, is notice how expert writers use these structures in their writing. And you can underline 
sentences that use these structures. Okay, like here, for example, school is a place where young people develop important life skills. A child's school years are also a time when they are socialized to develop as honest and dignified members of society. That's why children whose parents have a low income must also access a good quality education. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to analyze in more detail how these structures work. OK. OK, so let's start with who's. We use who's mostly for people. Okay, we use who's in relative clauses instead of his, her, there. OK, for example, look at these phrases children okay people their parents have a low income must also access a good quality education so children must also access a good quality education now let's see how we can combine those phrases into a sentence using a relative clause with whose children whose parents okay so whose replaces there whose parents have a low income that's the relative clause right whose parents have a low income must also access a good quality education that's the main clause okay now what's the difference between who and whose let's compare them OK, so I met a girl who doesn't believe in free education. So this means she doesn't believe in free education. Now, with whose, I met a girl whose parents don't believe in free education. So that means her parents don't believe in free education. And well, also, it's uh, useful to realise that whose is followed by a noun right whose parents okay and with where we use where in a relative clause to talk about a place school is a place young people develop important life skills there okay if we combine those into a sentence using a relative clause with where we get school is a place where young people develop important life skills that's your relative clause in bold and finally with when we use when in a relative clause to talk about a time a child's school years are also a time okay. they are socialized to develop as honest and dignified members of society so if we take those phrases and combine them using when as a relative clause in a relative clause we get a child's school years are also a time when and then the relative clause they are socialized to develop as honest and dignified members of society okay time to practice can you fill in the gaps with who whose where or when Use each word only once. Example, the other day I visited the neighborhood where I went to school. Okay, so the neighborhood is a place. So it's the neighborhood where I went to school. Okay, so do the same with the other four. Okay, pause the video, take three minutes and then we'll check together. Okay, how did you do? Number one. Last week, I saw an old school friend played in the same football team as me. Okay, so an old school friend is a person. Is it who or whose? Okay, well, played is not a noun, right? It's a verb. Okay, so it's who played in the same football team as me. Number two. My, my years abroad were times, okay, so times, so it's when. 
I learn to become more independent. Three, as a teenager, I had one particular violin teacher. Okay, violin teacher is a person. Lessons, that's a noun. Okay, so it's whose lessons, right? So that replaces her lessons, right? Her lessons were, were a lot of fun. So I had one particular violin teacher whose lessons with the relative clause. Okay, and four, it is at university, a lot of people learn how to think critically. Okay, so university is a place, so it is at university where a lot of people learn how to think critically. Okay, now let's do this. Can you combine two sentences using a relative clause with who or whose? Example. I met a couple yesterday. Their son is in the same class as my nephew. Okay, so it's their son. So their is replaced with whose in the relative clause. So it's I met a couple yesterday whose son is in the same class as my nephew. Okay, so now do the same with one, two, three, and four. And in three minutes, we will check together. Okay, pause the video. Okay, how did you do? Number one, last week I saw a lady, she taught me French at school. So it's, this time it's she, it's the subject. Okay, so what we do is we replace she with who. Okay, so last week I saw a lady who taught me French at school. Okay, so I mean you can write them the whole sentence again, or uh, in my case, because I'm typing, I'm just going to change the sentence, that's quicker. Okay, my brother, number two, my brother has a friend, his old school has recently closed down. Okay, his old school, right? So remember when it's his, her, or their, we replace that pronoun with whose. Okay, so my brother has a friend whose old school has recently closed down. Number three, my friend, sorry, my wife has friends. They never paid off their student loans. Okay, so replace they with who. All right, my wife has friends who never paid off their student loans. Four. I know people, their university degree programs include two years abroad. Okay, so I know people, their university degree programs. So replace their with whose university degree programs include two years abroad. Okay, now with where, complete the sentences. Use the sentences in the box to make relative clauses with where. Okay, example. Oxford and Cambridge are British universities. Okay, so we choose one. It's this one, yeah. The elite go there. So remember you replace there with where. So Oxford and Cambridge are British universities where the elite go. Okay, so do the same with one, two, three, and four. Yeah, and then in three minutes, we'll check together. Okay, how did you do? Number one, I have good memories of Newcastle. Okay. I went to university in Newcastle. Yeah, I went to university there. So I have good memories of, good memories of Newcastle where... I went to university. Okay. Number two, do you do you remember this is a question? Yeah. Do you remember Oswald Road? Okay, this is uh, me and my brother. We went to school there. We went to school at Oswald Road at Oswald Road School. Okay. So do you remember Oswald Road? where we went to school.
Okay, so you replace there with where. Three, Salisbury in the UK is the twin city of Sant in France. Okay. I went on a French exchange in Sant when I was 14. Okay, Sant is the twin city of Salisbury where my parents live. Okay, so Salisbury in the UK is the twin city of Sant in France where I went on a French exchange. Okay, uh, number four. I remember the Don Quixote school in Salamanca. Okay, now, Don Quixote school in Salamanca. Right, I learned Spanish there. I spent three months in Salamanca learning Spanish at Don Quixote school. Okay, so remember, replace there. So I remember the Don Quixote school in Salamanca where I learned Spanish. Okay, finally, a little homework task for you. Can you complete the following sentences with your own idea? Example, there are some students whose, okay, so my own idea, whose sporting talent wins them a scholarship. Okay, so that's the completion of the sentence. So can you do the same with one to four? So one last year I met someone whose, okay, your own idea, Two, my family have friends who, finish the sentence. Three, my school was a place where, again, finish the sentence. And four, as a teenager, Saturday was the day when, finish the sentence. Okay. And yeah, so can you write the full four sentences with your own ideas in the comments of this video? Okay, students, that's all for today. I hope you found that useful. And remember, you can download my free ebook if you haven't already 12 Tips for Scoring Higher on IELTS Writing Task 2. Just go to the link in the video, and I'll see you next time.